We are now on page 383, the um, section titled Working with Multiple Workbooks. And let's flip over to page 384. And what they want us to do is they want us to insert a new worksheet. Uh, actually, the easiest way to do it is just click on this little button down here. Um, and they do want it over here between sheet 1 and 2, so all you have to do is click and drag when the arrow gets in the right spot, uh, let go of the mouse. And now we're at the top of page 385. And um, what we want is we want to copy the contents of sheet 1. So let's go to sheet 1 here. And um, click the Select All button, which is right here, to select everything on the worksheet and then uh, go to your home tab and do a copy or you just do a control C if you prefer and now we have the contents of the worksheet on the clipboard and now we want to go to sheet 4 and then we're going to hold the shift key down and go to sheet 3 and click on it notice all three of those tabs turn white which means all three of those worksheets are selected and now we're going to do a paste and we just pasted that into all three of those worksheets. If I go down here and click my way through the worksheets, um, they all look pretty much the same. Okay, let's go to sheet one. I'm on the top of page 386. And press the escape key when that dancing line is around the data. Hit escape and it'll make it go away. Hold down the shift key and click the sheet three tab. That means we're going to select all four worksheets and select cell A12 and it says uh, hold down shift and click sheet one and now we're back just to selecting sheet one and the other two or the other three worksheets are deselected and now with top of page 3d7 with sheet one active hold down the shift key and then click the sheet three tab to select all of them and go to cell C5, which is right here, and type in minus 2, and press the down arrow key. And it says enter the nine remaining numbers in uh, the 2012 percent change and the 2013 percent change. And um, so we're going to type in 4472 and over here we're going to type in minus 2 3 one, five, three. Okay, now we're on number two at the bottom of page 387. Um, we want to hold down the shift key and click on sheet one to deselect all the other sheets. And it tells us just to verify that they're all the same. And yes, they're all the same. And now let's turn to page 388. Okay, we want sheet four, and uh, we're going to double click on it. And when we double click on it, we can change the name. We call this Public Works. Okay, and we're also going to right click on it, and we're going to change the tab color of Public Works to column six, row one. which should be labeled brown accent 2 okay and then we want to double click on a2 and we want to change this to public works and then we want to select a1 and a2 and we're going to make the color up here match the color down at the bottom so let's go up here and choose our fill color and it was brown accent 2 okay and
think I missed that. Brown accent 2 should be the first one up there. Let's go back down here and do the same thing. Uh, tab color is the first one. Okay. Okay, that looks better. Now, um, enter the data that's uh, in table 6 5. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I've got the data entered, and just to verify that the data is correct, make sure your title or your total here matches up with the total shown on page 388, figure 6.35. Um, and now we're going to go to sheet two, and this is going to be police and fire. Double click, and then we're going to right click, and we're going to do column five, row one on the colors. Column 5, row 1, right there. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to go up here and we're going to change this to Police and Fire. And then we're going to select both of those and we're going to change their color to Green Accent 1, Fill Color, which is this. And then we're going to enter the data in Table 6 6 at the bottom of page 389. Okay, so we've got the data typed in for police and fire, and now we're going to go to the top of page 390, and um, we're going to do one more sheet here. We're going to double click, and we're going to call this Parks and Recreation, and then we're going to right click on it, and um, we want orange accent three for our tab color, um, which is uh, column seven, row one. It's this one right here. Uh, it says in the book that that's under the standard colors. It's not. It's under the theme colors up here. And then we're going to go back up here. We're going to change this to parks and recreation. And then we're going to select both of those and we're going to get our fill color and again we're going to go to um, orange accent 3. And enter the data listed in table 6-7 so let's go ahead and do that. Okay we've got our data typed in for this. And uh, now we want to go to Sheet 1, double click on it. This is going to be titled Consolidated. And um, we want to change its color to Orange Accent 6. So tab color, and that is the last column here, I think, Orange Accent 6. And again, in the book, it says this is in the standard colors, but it's not. It's in the theme colors. And uh, go up here to A2 again, and we're going to change this to consolidated. And we're going to select both of those. And actually, we've already got that the right color, so we don't have to change the colors on that. Um, yeah, they match. Okay, now we're on page 392. Select cell B5 and then click the sum button. Let's go to cell B5 and click the sum button. And then go to public works and click on B5 and then hold the shift key down and click on the last one. And take a look at your formula up here. It's uh, the sum function. And what we want is in quotation, or the apostrophes here, it says public works, colon, parks and recreation. So that's a range with a colon in there. So we want everything from the public works sheet through the parks and recreation sheet. And then the ex exclamation mark separates the sheet title from the cell reference. And I want B5. So I'm saying give me all three of those numbers in B5 on those three worksheets and add them up. And hit the enter key. And it adds up those numbers for me. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to copy this formula down the page here. 
Uh, if I copy it like this, I'm just going to get my fill handle and drag it down. If I do that, uh, I get the dollar signs there for everything. Uh, and I really don't want that. So I'm going to do a control Z to undo that. And we're going to take a look at a different way to copy the formula. Uh, click on the formula. Um, click on copy or do a control C. And then select the area that you want to paste it to. And go to your paste button here. Instead of doing a control V this time, um, what we want to do is uh, we want to uh, paste the formulas, but not the formatting. Okay, so we won't get dollar signs on all of these numbers when we do that. So that's uh, that's an alternative for uh, copying and pasting. And let's hit the escape key and let's save our data, and that brings us to the end of that section.